Hi you guys, it's Mindful Mondays and what I like to do for Mindful Mondays is to remind you guys the importance of being self-aware, right? What do I mean by being self-aware? Well, being aware of the words that come out of your mouth, right? The importance of tasting them before you spit them out. What is the impression that people leave after experiencing you, right? After you being in their presence? How do you talk to your children, right? How do you, re do you respect your parents? How do you treat your coworkers? Are you aware of what you're ingesting into your spirit in regards to what you're watching, what it is that you are hearing? Are you aware of these things? Are they edifying to your spirit? Are you watching things? Are you ingesting things that make you feel down and make you feel depressed, right? Everything that you do has to be with intention right we are the alchemist of our lives we are the ones that are in that are in control of to the best of our ability what it is that we consume okay so for today's message that i want to talk about is trust okay so i want to give you guys a disclaimer before i go into trust i want to give you guys a little bit of a disclaimer a little bit about me a little background for those of you who don't know me i am the person of unpopular opinion. I am not the person that's here trying to convince you. I'm not here trying to convert you. I'm not here trying to bring you onto my side. The message that I have is for my tribe. Okay? The tribe of people who are feeling my vibe. That's who this message is for. So if what I'm saying is resonating with your spirit, that is awesome. If you don't agree with anything that I have to say, that also is awesome. Okay? With me being an Aquarius, I am an open-minded person. I am a free spirit. I'm the type of person that allows you to be who you want to be. Just like I give myself permission to be who I want to be, I also allow you to be who you want to be except for racism okay so that's a little disclaimer okay so um, with that being said I want to talk about the word trust um, and how I feel about that word so when it comes to trust I've come to the realization that no one is trustworthy there's a scripture in the Bible that says to trust no man you got to put your trust in God not to put your trust in man Okay, so now when I'm talking about me not trusting anyone, I'm not coming from a negative space. I'm not demonizing anyone and saying that everybody's bad and everybody's evil and don't trust anybody and, and to dig a hole and to become a hermit and just to hide yourself from the world. I'm not coming from that place at all. If anything, I'm coming from a place of understanding. I understand that people are fickle. People change their minds. People will have a certain belief and then end up changing it. Um, and I realized that I have been hurt by putting on these expectations of people being who I expected them and wanted them to be. And so what I've learned is that you really cannot trust anyone. Um, and so I, I'm at a place where I don't trust my husband. <laughs> I don't trust my kids. I don't trust my friends. <laughs> I don't trust the government. <laughs> I don't trust anybody. And I know your jaw's on the floor right now. All right. I want you to pick your jaws up. It's okay. Pick them up. I know what I said sounds real crazy, but I'm telling you, I'm living in a I'm living a life right now where I don't have expectations. I think that if people pass my expectations and they do things that I don't expect them to do, that would surprise me. And I would rather live in that space of being surprised and lowering my my expectations and people doing things that I didn't expect them to do than for me to have all of these expectations, me projecting onto them how I expect them to be and then being highly disappointed. People are fickle. Listen, I don't even trust myself at times. Let's not be afraid to say these things. It's truth. There are times when we disappoint ourselves. We'll say, hey, I'm going to stick to a diet. We have our New Year's resolutions. And then we mess them up after the first week. Maybe after the first month. Right? And then we resort back to our old habits, our old ways. And this isn't to say that people can't grow, that people can't evolve, that people can't change. But one thing that I'm learning about human behavior is that we, we are fickle and that we go back on our word and that we make mistakes and that we are who we are based on the circumstances at hand. And so that's something that I've come to understand and I've had to learn this the hard way. I've shared certain private things with people that have um, 
that I shared things in, in, in private and that I didn't want to get back to other people and it went back. And I've had relationships end over these type of things. So what I'm saying is that is that if you have a secret and you don't want it to get to the next person, you have to understand or imagine that once you open your mouth and you share that that secret with that person in confidence, just know that the world is going to know by the next day. Have that understanding, have that expectation, okay? Now, if you have that understanding and you still decide to share it, then if it gets out, it gets out, okay? But don't expect that people are going to keep in confidence things that you've shared, even if they promise you, like, oh, I'm not gonna tell nobody. Even if they promise you, they will still disappoint you. Okay, so I just want you to be aware of um, the interactions that you have with people and that how people can really disappoint you. So I want you to be on guard, okay? So imagine uh, being in the army or, or, or imagine soldiers, right? Soldiers in the military wear armor. They wear bulletproof vests, right? They have their guns and they have their, their protection for just in case something happens even when you think of cops right cops have their bulletproof vests and they have their their weaponry or whatever just in case and i think that this is very imperative when it comes to how we do relationships be protective of yourself don't share everything don't me being the empath that i am me being an open person i was so into being relatable i want people to understand me i want people to know that i'm human i want people to know that i'm not perfect so i'm gonna share my darkest secrets i'm gonna share salacious things because i want people to understand that i am them right i'm a human being and i make mistakes but even in doing that even though i meant well you know, there are people who uh, don't share the same sentiments. There are people who are hungry to hear those uh, intimate details so they can run and tell somebody else. And then this way people have this perception about you, you know, um, and so it ends up backfiring. So I'm not at all saying that you can't be intimate with people and that you can't share things. But if you are going to do that, make sure that you are aware that it will go out there and then people will have their own ideas and perceptions of you okay so in this message what i'm trying to convey with you guys is that trust no man trust no man and i want to say that because i want you guys to get used to that again i'm not at all trying to demonize humanity but i'm trying to un i'm trying to con convey to you guys the understanding that people will betray you and i'm not saying that people are waking up in the morning sitting at the edge of their bed saying okay how can i hurt this person how can i hurt my spouse how can i hurt my child how can i hurt my best friend the average person is not doing that that's not to say that people don't do that there are sociopaths out there who do conspire against people and try to come up with ways to hurt people. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the average human who shares things and they don't mean to hurt anybody, but it could come back to hurt that person. Okay, so with that understanding, I want you guys to understand people are, pit are fickle. People can say that they're not going to do something and that they can end up betraying you. I want you to be self-aware, even if somebody shares something uh, with you in confidence. To the best of your ability, if you say that you're not going to share that information, don't share it. Be self-aware. Watch yourself before it comes out, okay? Because these things can come back and really hurt your loved ones. Okay, you guys? So that's my message for today trust no man again i'm not trying to demonize human beings i want you to understand the frailty of 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 people's word i'm not saying that people can't evolve and that people can't have integrity and that people can't be ethical i'm not at all saying that i want you to understand that if you share something with somebody in confidence that there is a chance that the world will know by the next day so anything that you do share be very aware that this could happen okay so um it would be great it would be great if we could trust people 
you know what I'm saying? But what I want you to do is try to not have such high expectations. There are so many relationships that are breaking, that are being um, disrupted because of this expectation that we have of people. Lower your expectations. I know that sounds hard to digest. You have to, to protect your heart, you have to lower your expectations to protect yourself because people are fickle. People will hurt you. People will betray you. That is life. This doesn't mean that we have to love anybody less. This is a matter of understanding human behavior. We put people on pedestals. People aren't allowed to make mistakes. People are supposed to be perfect. When you look at social media, we're so quick to cancel somebody if they say something wrong, right? But we want forgiveness if we do something wrong. But if someone does something wrong once or even twice, it's all they're canceled. How dare they? I expected them to act X, Y, and Z. Let people be human. Lower your expectations. Take people off those pedestals that you're putting them on. We all make mistakes, okay? So when it comes to trust, trust no man. Put all of your trust in God, okay? Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, have a blessed day.